All right, so for this problem, I have 6 to the power of x is equal 12. So to solve this problem, I'm going to first start by taking the log on both sides. So now I have log 6 to the power of x is equal to log 12. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can simply move this exponent b to the front. So this can equal b times log a. So in this case, log 6 to the power of x, I can move x to the front. So that's going to equal x times log 6, which is equal to log 12. Now, to solve this, I'm going to divide both sides by log 6. These two cancel out, and I have x is equal to log 12 over log 6. Now log 12, that's the same thing as log 6 times 2. Now I have this over log 6. And if I have something in the form log a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So log 6 times 2, I can write as log 6 plus log 2. Now I have this over log 6. Now log 6 plus log 2 over log 6, this is the same thing as log 6 over log 6 plus log 2 over log 6. Now, log 6 and log 6, these two cancel out. So now I have x is equal to 1 plus log 2 over log 6. And log 2, or sorry, log 6 over here, I can write as log 2 times 3. And I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to read this as log 2 over log 2 plus log 3. And again, if I expand it, I get 1 plus log 2 over log 2 plus log 2 over log 3. Log 2 and log 2, those two cancel out. So I have x is equal to 2 plus log 2, that's equal to 0 0.301 over log 3, that's equal to 0 0.47. So if you simplify this, you get x is equal to 1.3868. So this is my answer. All right, so in this problem, I have x squared minus 1 is equal to x minus 1 squared. So I want to find the value of x here. So to start, my solution, first start with x squared minus 1 is equal to x minus 1 squared. Now I'm going to go ahead and expand x minus 1 squared. So if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, or sorry, I'm actually going to expand x squared minus 1. So if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, x squared minus 1, 1 is the same thing as 1 squared. So a is equal to x and b is equal to 1. So now I have x plus 1 times x minus 1, which is equal to x minus 1 squared. Now, if I subtract x minus 1, I get x plus 1 times x minus 1 minus, sorry, if I subtract x minus 1 squared, minus x minus 1 squared is equal to 0. Now x minus 1 squared, that's the same thing as x minus 1 times x minus 1. Now, if I factor out x minus 1 from this, I get x minus 1 times x plus 1 
time x plus one sorry not times minus x minus one this is equal to zero now this is equal to x plus one minus x plus one and which is equal to these two x's cancel out, so all I'm left with is one plus one, which is two. So I have x minus one times two is equal to zero. So now to solve this, I'm gonna have to distribute the two. So two times x is two x, and two times negative one is negative two. So I have two x minus two is equal to zero. So now to solve this, I simply add two on both sides, these two cancel out, and I have two x is equal to two. Now from here, all I have to do is divide both sides by two. These two cancel out, and I am left with x is equal to two divided by two, which is one. So this is my answer. All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of four is equal to four. So to solve this problem, I'm gonna first go ahead and subtract four on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I'll be left with x to the power of 4 minus 4 is equal to 0. Now, I can rewrite x to the power of 4 as x to the power of 2 times 2. So now I have x to the power of 2 times 2 minus 4, I can rewrite as 2 to the power of 2. So I have this is equal to 0. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So x to the power of two times two, this is equal to x to the power of two to the power of two minus two to the power of two is equal to zero. Now if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is equal to x squared and b is equal to two. So now I have x squared plus two times x squared minus two is equal to zero. This gives me two equations. X squared plus two is equal to zero and X squared minus two equals zero. So for X squared plus two equals zero, I simply subtract two on both sides and have X squared is equal to negative two. Now I'm gonna take the square root on both sides. The square root of X squared is X and the square root of negative two, this is the same thing as square root of two times square root of negative one. And if you guys already didn't know, the square root of negative one is equal to i. So now I have x is equal to the square root of two i. This is plus or minus. Now for x squared minus two equals zero, I add two on both sides. I have x squared is equal to two. Now if I take the square root, the square root of x squared is x, and the square root of two, this is positive or negative. The square root of two. So my four solutions are x is equal to positive or negative square root of two i. Or sorry, x is equal to two square root of 2i, x is equal to negative square root of 2i, x is equal to square root of 2, and x is equal to negative square root of 2.